This is a tutorial on how to use EasyPHP to test your PHP code. So go to easyphp.org and get the dev server. You don't want the web server. As it says, web server is basically turning your computer into a personal web hosting server. So that would be for putting a website out there for everybody to see. You don't want to do that. You just want to test the code um, and you want to be the only person that's seeing this code. So you want to get the dev server. So you're just going to download that. Once that's downloaded, you're just going to click on the exe. Go ahead and go through the install things. And you can actually install this in a different folder. You don't have to do it in your main program folder. I'm actually going to install it on my hard drive here. And create a desktop icon. And then just hit install. All right, so now we have EasyPHP dev server installed. So if you go ahead and click on it, nothing happens because it's not actually an application that you're going to open up. It's just running in the background. But we do have this little icon on our tray here now. And if you right click that, you can open your dashboard. So to start kind of hosting a server so you can test your PHP code, you have to start an HTTP server. So as you can see on the dashboard here, you've got that option right here. You can just hit start. There's a second way you can do it though, without going to the dashboard. So if you just go down to your little icon here, you can right click it, you can get servers, and you can start and stop all your servers right here. And I say all my servers, I mean HTTP and the database. We'll just be using HTTP. So now EasyPHP is running and it's ready so that we can test some code. So now we have to actually give it some code to test. The easiest way to find that folder is just to go to your dashboard by right clicking on the icon here and then going to your portable directory. This is going to be the folder that you put your code in. You just click the center part the file path here and that will lead you to here. So your program folder easy PHP and then EDS dash www. This is going to be the folder that you put all your code in. And as you can see, there's already some code. It already put some default code in here. So we can make a new folder. And then make a new PHP file. And then start writing some PHP code. So to test this, I just wrote a short little code that it will echo a little paragraph that says PHP is working. So now we want to use easy PHP to run that code. There's a couple different ways we can do this one is you can just click on the portable directory on the left side with this one. See if, if we click on this, it opens that directory in the file explorer. If we click on it right here, this actually opens that directory, but in the web browser so that we can then run the code. So if we go to this folder that I created, PHP test, and then go to test PHP, as you can see, it's running that PHP code and it is working. If you go back to the dashboard, you can also add a directory. So I'm just going to go to the folder that I created, PHP test, copy the address, put it in here, and call it sites. And then here, it's we'll have a direct link straight to the PHP test folder. So you can set up different folders. You don't have to go to the EDSWW folder and then search for their project every time. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. Just install it run it, start the HTTP server, put the code in the edsww folder, navigate it to that in the browser, and then run it. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if it was helpful, make sure to leave a like. Thanks.